All right, so this is how to make a sacrificial um, offer to the ping pong gods. Actually, no, it's how to make a fake ping pong, uh, ping pong ball nail. I suggest uh, the brand Nitaku. Uh, this is a really good, uh, really good ping pong ball for making nails. Uh, just grab your scissor and uh, proceed with the sacrifice. Done. Now, once you do that, you're going to cut, generally speaking, the shape of a nail. Do your half moon there. I don't know if you're getting all this in the camera there. This is for a thumbnail. Okay, that's for you. With my compliments. Now, what we're going to try to do, let's, let's take a look at your, your thumb. So that give or take is the shape of his thumb. We're going to have to cut a little bit. Notice that he's got a little bit of nail there. That's what we're going to use. He almost does not have enough to do this. But you have to start out with some, some nail. So you break your thumbnail or your, any, any nail. Just don't cut off the rest of the nail like he did and made it look so, so, so pretty there. Um, go ahead and leave some nail because leave some nail there because you're going to need uh, somewhere to actually glue this onto, right? And then I'm going to do this this part. Let me see your thumb again. Yeah, it's pretty round. I'm going to do this part so that it reflects the underside of his skin, right? So he's going to basically put this underneath his nail like like so, right? And you would end up with something like that. Let's take a look. No, I don't. Right. So if you notice this nail here, those edges right there are going to actually, uh, they're going to actually hurt him while he's playing. So you don't want anything that's like causing any severe friction with the underside of your nail, which is a very sensitive, sensitive part. Like try one time. And then we basically give the shape of the thumb that we generally have in guitar playing. That ramp, right? That might be a little bit too much on that side, let's see. But it's really critical that you have quite a bit of material before you fit the nail. Is that hurting? Okay. Now here is a trick that is going to, uh, now you can see that nail there, it, it, may, it, 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 it may look like it's okay uh, right now, of course we have to take out more there, but here's the problem. You see those two beaks there? Those two beaks there are going to actually be jamming against your flesh in there, so you don't want to have those points. So although it is the shape that you want, you want to round that off so it does not hurt you. Okay, let's try this. Good. Okay, excellent. Oh. Now go ahead and 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 uh, do do what I'm doing here with my two fingers with your other hand. 
make sure that that is there constantly and uh, just blow some air onto it. Well, he takes care of drying that up. We're going to take care of the top of the sandwich. What you really do when you are creating a fake nail is you're actually sandwiching your original nail. This one does not have to look as pretty as the other one. This is basically silk patch. Uh, you can get the Savers kit or you can uh, just go to any beauty store and get either the acrylic patch or the, or the silk patch. I prefer the silk. And it's self adhesive. Once you actually peel this off, once you peel this off, it's actually going to stay on the nail. Uh, so we more or less want to give it the shape of his nail. Only going to be a band that goes over the area that has both nail and ping pong ball. The cool thing about this is that once you actually peel it up, put your hand here, please. Is, is it in the camera? Once you peel it off, you'll realize how malleable this is. You can move it around quite a bit. All right. So I'm going to try to get that corner in to where, and I don't know if you can see it there in the camera, to where there's nail, which where there's nail and flesh, right? And I'm, I'm again, nail and flesh, nail and ping pong. And I'm going to basically sandwich his original nail there. And here's what I, what I meant when I talked about it being malleable. You can actually stretch this stuff. It's silk so that it just comes back. All right, there's a little part that we're going to be able to just cut in, in a little bit. Okay. And you just dry that out and you have a nail.